Michelle and I'm back and I'm here to share my fourth project for July for Country Craft Creations Design Team. Um, again, I got the Let's Travel package of papers by Cartabella and I had scraps and I just could not stand not using them. So I came up with a fourth project. This isn't a tutorial per se, this is a share basically, but um, I'm gonna talk about how I made it so that you can go ahead and make one for yourself if you had um, some scraps and you wanted to, to get a little creative and, and uh, go through your stash and use up some of your stuff. So um, I had some papers or, you know, some pieces of papers left over from all the three things that I made, the album, the passport holder, and the picture frames. And I, I just couldn't stand not using them, so I had to use everything as I possibly as much as I possibly could. So I went along with the theme of traveling and I came up with a suitcase. And uh, this was a fun little project to, to play with and it was also um, a pretty good stash buster, not only for the pieces that were left over from this collection, but some stuff that I've been hoarding in my stash for a while. So um, let's just kind of go through what I did. So I had some seam binding left over and I had some papers. I had some scraps of papers. I had one cut apart left. Um, well, actually I had a few more cut aparts left, but I had this one, which I wanted on a cover so badly and I decided this was the project to do it on. Um, I went through my stash. I had this handle that I got at my local craft store and with a little bit of glue and a couple of brads, that hooked right onto the, the box and it made a handle that um, simulates the suitcase. And then the seam binding, I got, I had the seam binding left over and I had a couple of these buckles that I got from a swap. And I thought, this is just absolutely perfect. I mean, this totally simulates the look of a, a really cool suitcase and it matches. I just happened to have the suitcase paper left over. So this was, this was like perfect. And again, went through my stash. I had these, um, these uh, charms, so little travel, accessories, a satchel, a bike. Here's a little airplane. This is a postcard that says I love you on it and some keys. So I thought that was cute to put on the handle. And then I had a little piece of seam binding that I went ahead and tied a bow on. So there's another little piece. Um, the paper had these awesome little postage stamp looking pieces. And from the scraps, I just fussy cut those out and put them on the sides and the top of my box to simulate the, the stickers that you would get when you're traveling, you know, and all those um, things that people can put on their suitcases. So I, I wanted to simulate that. And then again, for the um, actual like cover of this, I had this uh, cut apart. I backed it on some cardstock. I used some enamel dots that I got in my design team kit. And in my stash, I had a couple of doilies. So I put those on there. And then these little pieces, which are little tickets and a passport. And then this little piece um, uh, that says the world is calling. These are all pieces of paper that were left over from my previous projects. And I just cut those out and layered them together with a couple little flowers from my stash. And I thought it made a really cute little cover. So this is my little, my little suitcase project. So this is a box that I've had in my stash for a while. And it's one of those magnetic um, paper mache boxes. So then when you open it up, I made a, for the, from the lid, the front of the box, I made a photo opportunity here for a four by six picture. And all of these little pieces here are fussy cut out of scraps of paper that I had left over. They had some great images. They had little Polaroids and the stamps and little passports and little luggage pieces. So I just layered those together and made a nice little corner for this frame. And then these were in the ephemera pack. Um, these little um, banners and I put those in there with some of the enamel dots to kind of frame the corner of the picture so you could put a really nice like your favorite photo in there and then over here I'm gonna take these out for just a second um, over here what I did was I put you know how suitcases have like the ties and the buckles and things that you can put over your clothes to kind of help keep things contained well I had some pieces of um, seam binding left over and so that's what I did I adhered those um, seam binding pieces underneath another piece of pattern paper that I had and created a place where you could put all kinds of tags. So let's untie this and let's go through this. So I had some cut aparts left over um, that I backed onto some cardstock. So again, you could put a photo on there or with this kind of cardstock, you could actually do some journaling if you wanted to. And then um, I decided I wanted to make postcards because when you go on a trip, you have to make postcards, right? So I got some uh, postcard paper that I had in my stash 
and um, a stamp that I had in my stash, and I and I created the postcard on the one side, and then I had a, a punch that I cut stamps out of, because by the time I got done with the outside of the box, I was pretty much done with all my little stamp-looking um, pieces, and I just punched stamps out of a piece of uh, the paper that was left over to create that. And then on the front, these are all scraps, so I just kind of quilted them together, so to speak, and created the front of the postcard. So you could put a picture on here if you wanted to, and then journal on the back, which is I thought was kind of a cool idea. And again, this is another one of those um, cut-aparts that I didn't use, and I just backed it on a piece of scrap cardstock. And then I decided to get a little crazy with the photo frames and make some Polaroid frames. So what I ended up doing here was um, I cut a piece of pattern paper. I had a scrap and it was, let's see, I cut it at four and a quarter by three and a half. And then I had an inch here and a quarter of an inch here and I just cut the frame out. And I cut the frame out using my frame punch. Let me show you, I have one of these guys. And so I just set my pieces and then cut the frame out so that the actual Polaroid frame is open. And then I took a piece of cardstock that I had left over and this was cut at four and a half by three and a half. And then I did a quarter inch score so that it would here adhere to the top of this. And then um, I added the score tape all the way around. So the idea is, is when you get the picture, you put it in there, take the score tape off and put it down. And then you have a really cute Polaroid frame. So you could, you could frame a picture there and then you could either do journaling or put even another picture behind there. So I did that with some of the leftover pieces that I had and there you go. So then here again is um, another postcard with my little pieces of scraps that I just couldn't bear not using. And again, I did the stamp postcard on the back and punched a stamp shape with one of my punches and uh, put the stamp on there. And then a cut apart and this matches the front. Another, another uh, postcard with all the little cute little scraps that I could get together. Another Polaroid frame. So you could journal on this real easy and put your pretty frame in there and then you could even add some stuff down there if you wanted to. And then I went into, you know, when you're traveling and you send postcards and you, you can send letters and things like that. So I just got an envelope for my stash. I went ahead and put the flap on the inside and made just a little card with my scraps. And this is actually part of the um, labeling of the paper that I kept because I just thought it was super cute. So I used that as part of the decoration for it. And again, you could journal on this, you know, write down your favorite memories, put a picture in there, whatever you wanted to do. So I did that. Another Polaroid frame. Another card. So again, I did this one. Aloha. And this is one of the ephemeras with an enamel dot. And again, this is a card, and I just had the card in the envelope in my stash, so it was really cute to kind of throw in here and um, make another opportunity to make memories, you know, and, and keep your pictures and whatnot. So then I had this piece here, made a tag out of it, backed it on cardstock, so you could put a picture on there and do some journaling there. And then this piece I had left over, and I punched the stub shape so it looks like a ticket and put this piece of, um, this was a cut apart, a three by four cut apart, but I cut the design part off and it just says more hugs, more sleep, more relaxing, more music, more sunsets, and more adventure. And I thought that was kind of cute. And then if you wanted to, you could put a picture here. And then over here, I added a piece of um, cardstock so that you could put a picture there. These again are pieces of the ephemera that came with the pack. And then last but not least in here, another tag. So you could put a picture on there and do some journaling on the back. My little bits of seam binding that I had left over, I put in there. So that's um, kind of a box full of memories that you can create. And uh, again, it goes with the theme because of the suitcase, right? So uh, that's what I did with that. And then my other little thought was, and again, I had these in my stash, and don't ask me why I had them in my stash, but I did. I had some luggage tags 
And so I got little leftover pieces of the paper that I had left over and I created luggage tags. So these fit perfectly with putting them on your luggage, that's for sure. And this one, I added a couple little stickers to it and a couple of the pieces of the paper that I cut out that says cheers, yay for a day and taking it easy. And then in my stash, I had some charms. So I just used my little bits of seam binding that I had left over and tied a charm to it. This one says, let's fly. So I thought it was pretty appropriate to add wings to it. I got these wings from a swap that I was in. So those were absolutely perfect to add to this one. And then um, I got this one that has the luggage on it. And I got the little word pieces again, the cut out of the paper. It says, the world is calling, pack your bags, let's go and world traveler. So now I have three new luggage tags uh, to show or to uh, use the next time I go on a big adventure. And then um, before I laminated them, I created a backside and I put some stickers on some white cardstock and then underneath this post-it note is my address and everything. So um, it's totally functional and useful and um, yeah. So I think I have exhausted all the themes I could come up with for the travel paper. And honestly, I don't have a whole lot left over, so I'm not sure what else I could do. <laughs> so again, I really had a lot of fun using this Let's Travel uh, collection by Cartabella. This is available at Country Craft Creations, so you can go get it. And um, this is just another idea for a project that you could make. And I hope you enjoyed what I've shown you. So I'm working on August stuff now, and uh, I... We'll see you soon with a whole brand new collection of things. Thanks a lot. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.